yet to skin out a little on my skin for this sun vitamin c face cream face oil from faster especially the one that is caused by the sun hey loves welcome back to my channel if you are new please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified first anytime i upload a new video so let's get right into the video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my everyday face care routine for hyperpigmentation dark spots and acne so currently i've been battling with hyperpigmentation i don't know how you all see it, but i'm actually battling with hyperpigmentation right now and my skin is looking a bit darker than the way it usually is i don't know my hyperpigmentation was not caused by sun because most of the time when you're always in the sun without sunscreen you tend to get hyperpigmentation but i recently noticed that you can also get hyperpigmentation from skincare products more like a bad skincare product for me what i really cause my hyperpigmentation right now is skincare products that i'm using on my skin so fast forward to that i was using the palette body face cream and my usual fair white so white skin perfect face cream that was what i usually use on my face but i decided to try out the obi 20 face cream and that face cream gave me a total hyperpigmentation like my face just got darker and i was having some darker areas of my face i almost started having some burn on my face as well just by using that or the 20 face cream so i see a lot of people criticize the of 20 face cream but still i went ahead to use it at the end of the day that face cream just destroyed my face so if you plan on getting of the 20 face cream i will definitely say that you should not get it so i was using the palette body the palette body was a very good face cream that helped to brighten my face but when i had a hyperpigmentation i don't know why the face cream was not working for me right here in this video i just got out of the shower and this is my face without any single thing on my skin so currently what i do on my face i exfoliate my face which is i scrub my face but i already did that yesterday night so i won't be doing that in this video the scrub i use on my face is the koji sun body scrub and this body scrub contains tamarind powder which helps to brighten the skin and exfoliate the skin properly well and this body scrub i've been doing well for my skin i love the way it smells and it is very soft to the skin i have quite a sensitive skin and i don't like skincare products going to cause any bad reaction to my skin or maybe after scrubbing my skin when i look at the mirror i see my face looking very red so this is what i use to scrub my face and mind you when using this body scrub on your body you use an exfoliating glue but for my face i don't use an exfoliating glue while using this um koji sun body scrub so this hide is like inside the consistency is very watery and i like it because it is very soft on the skin it doesn't cause any abrasion to the skin so that is what i used to exfoliate my face yesterday so the next thing i actually do is to wash my face with the koji sun soap since i already did that in the shower i also be showing you guys a video of me using this to wash my face right now because I already did that in the shower so that two skincare routine has been helping me the koji sun is a very good soap that helps to brighten the skin because what i need right now is something to brighten my skin help me with my hyperpigmentation and also some dark spots on my skin you can see there's a dark spot right here another dark spot right here okay i have a little hyperpigmentation here so that's just basically everything right now but the koji sun soap will help me to brighten my skin that's what i'm currently using guys and i'm seeing changes and that's the reason why i'm showing you guys this current skincare routine that i'm on so now down to the skincare proper the first thing i'll be doing is to use this beauty formula vitamin c toner this toner is a very good toner very effective toner it's been working well for my hyperpigmentation and dark spot and that's what i'm going to be using here in this video this is the first step in the skincare routine that i'm currently on and this is how my face looks like after applying the toner on my skin so when applying toner please let the toner be shown on your skin the way it's showing right now so it's not just for you to use it to clean your face toner is something that helps to balance the ph of the skin and also prepare your skin for every other skincare product you're going to be applying on your skin so that is the reason why I am using the Beauty Formula Vitamin C toner. When you apply toner on your skin, apply it like the way you apply your lotion. Don't just rub it on your skin like 
you are using it to clean your face apply it like you are putting it on your skin just the way i gently rub it around my skin just now what i'll just do i'll just give it like a few seconds to dry because i don't want to spend 20 hours in the bathroom so i'll just allow it to air dry a little so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to apply this honey sheets mask So for someone who is suffering from a lot of hyperpigmentation, I highly recommend that you use a face mask. This face mask that you see contains a lot of good skincare ingredients that you also be adding to your skin. So I'll be removing the little one inside. So I'll just apply this on my neck area and also my hands. So I'm just going to give my skin like 5 to 10 minutes before I remove this face mask and apply every other skincare on my face. So now I'm going to be removing the face mask, it's been 10 minutes and I'm going to simply remove it from my face. So you can see the hydration on my face. And one of the reasons why I love this sheet mask is the hydration it gives to the skin. So I still have a little here to scoop out and apply on areas of my skin like my elbow and my knees. Any part of my skin that I seem to just have hyperpigmentation. I apply the serum from that sheet mask all over that area. So that's the first step. So if I was not wearing something that covers my skin this month, I would have applied it down to my neck very well for you guys to see. So this is actually the next step in my skincare routine to apply my sheet mask and see how my skin is already bright, guys. So the next thing is for me to allow this to sit on my skin as well because despite the fact that I just left it on for some minutes, it also has to go deeper into my skin and with this i'm going to air dry for maybe like a minute or two to just have it all on my skin so now after i've fed that sheet mask have been absorbed and my skin properly well i'm going in with my serum so this Peme vitamin c serum is another effective serum that has been helping me with hyperpigmentation One thing to aim for in skincare to me is suppleness of the skin. When I mean suppleness of the skin, the elasticity of your skin. When your skin elasticity is very high, you're going to notice suppleness on your skin, like your skin is going to bounce when you touch it. It's not going to be looking ashy, looking very dry. It's going to be looking soft like that of a baby's skin. And that is something to aim for because as we age, our skin elasticity reduces that's what causes wrinkles and a lot of other things on the skin so with good skincare products you just have to like reduce the speed at which your skin elasticity is depreciating so the vitamin c serum that i just applied on my skin is one thing that helps with my skin supplements i think that's the major thing i love about that it helps with skin aging so if you are someone who don't want to age quickly you don't want to be seeing a lot of fine lines on your face because back then when i was not using this vitamin c serum if i smile the way wrinkles would gather on my eyes i was already scared then that if i was getting old so since i started using a lot of vitamin c serum on my skin i noticed that even when i smile my face doesn't show wrinkles anymore so vitamin c helps with anti-aging that's the first thing it helps with anti-aging and it helps with hyperpigmentation it all depends on what the vitamin c serum contains so for the premier vitamin c serum it contains a lot of good skincare ingredients that have been boosting my skincare routine so guys now i also leave that on for my face to dry and i already feel that it is dry on my skin now so the next thing i'm going to be applying is my face cream i also be using the koji sun vitamin c face cream this um, face cream contains vitamin C, niacinamide, and other good skincare ingredients which helps to brighten the skin. What I actually aim for my skin right now is brightness. So this is the face cream I'll be applying on. You can see. So this is the face cream. The producer of this face cream was very generous to, to put a lot of quantity in it because nowadays you really see a lot of quantity in face cream. So I'm just going to apply it on my skin. But sometimes I also apply it on my hand and rub it in my face to reduce 
any sensitivity that the face cream I want to cause on my skin. So this face cream with the good ingredients it contains, it also helps to brighten the skin, help with acne and dark spots on the skin. So I also rub it down to my neck because that's one important thing in skincare. You don't want things to be working on your face and your neck is that because I've seen some people that their face will be looking bright, their body will be looking bright, but their neck will just be dark. So you also have to spread your skincare product down to your neck for it to be even out. So after applying my face cream, this is how my skin is looking like. You can see the glow all over my skin right now. So the whole thing is working well. So the next thing I also apply on my skin is to apply this oil on my skin. I'm going to be applying very little on my skin because you can see it's just going only to my face. So this is to add glow to my face and also help to brighten my face. Because this oil contains vitamin C and other natural ingredients that help to brighten the skin, help with hyperpigmentation and dark spots on the face. So this is my skin right now after applying oil to my skin. You can see the glow is now doubling. The reason why I apply this oil on my skin without fear is because I have this uh, mattifying sunblock. This sunblock will not give you so much of a glow, but it really goes a long way in helping with hyperpigmentation. If there's anything I can vouch for helps with hyperpigmentation faster, especially the one that is caused by the sun. The Gavia sunblock is that one sunblock that helps with hyperpigmentation. So if you have any sun damage on your face, I'll say there's no need for you to be scared. Just get this Gavia sunblock and your sunburn is going to clear within a few days. I remember when I was not using this sunblock at the time because I was thinking, is this sunblock really working? So I was not applying it on my face. Guys, if you see the way I was having sunburn on my skin that period. So immediately I started using the sunblock back my skin came back so guys you can see this is my skin after applying the sunblock I told you guys it was a mattifying sunblock you can see it has reduced the excess glow on my skin and now it looks so natural that is one thing that I really love about that sunblock especially the days where I'll be applying my oil to my face it helps to calm the glow because you don't want to go out and your skin is just having a lot of shine 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 all over like it's it might be too much so when you use this type of sunblock it helps to calm down the whole effect of your skin and help it to have this natural glow so the next thing is to apply my blue sea vaseline on my lips so this is my skin right now you know sometimes you cannot just go in with your skin looking popping and your lips is not with the blue sea vaseline that just combines my lips to my skin so guys this is what i'm currently using for my hyperpigmentation and i've been seeing good results on my skin and the Koji's hand and every other skincare product just works effectively to make my skin uniform. So even skin tone is what I'm trying to achieve with this skincare routine and I think it's working its way to that perfection. So guys, that brings us to the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified first anytime I upload a new video. See you guys in my next video.